Welcome to another tech video. This is what we're going to be having a look at today. This is an HP all-in-one machine. Um, these are really tricky to get into and the plan today is to change out the hard disk for an SSD drive and boost performance. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get yourself a nice soft cloth. And then the next thing is you want to remove this stand. And of course, if you've got any USB dongles in the back, take those out, put them to one side as well, which we've just done for a wireless mouse and keyboard that they had connected. So once the two screws are undone, the stand will just lift off. You can put that to one side and then inside here, you will notice that there is a screw down in here. This also needs to come out. And that seems to be everything okay and then you'll notice that the join if I move that over the join starts here goes all the way along around the side and all the way comes around the back so I'm fairly confident that uh, what we need to do is to try and remove this as best we can. So, not done one of these before, but it looks like that should come out fairly easily. It's just a bit more room to view. Okay, so in terms of the tools, we are going to be using a metal spatula prizer, selection of nylon prizer tools as well. Okay, so let's see if we can start getting into this system. Okay. Might need to go in from the top. No. Okay, this is going to be a real tricky one to do. Okay, so instead of trying that, let's now, I'm going to try going in at the top. Okay, there we go. Just get a corner in. See if we can get round. Very difficult to get in. Okay, so let's now try around this side. Okay, that seems to be the way in. It's just to get your prize at all and unclip it. 
by running it all the way around. Then around this side, these bottom corners are the trickiest. Around the top, it's not too bad. Okay. Okay, yeah, right. It looks like. Sounded worse than it is, believe me. Turn it over, and as you can see, we're in. Down the side, we've got all the clips out. And we now need to make sure we can get the other side out. There we go. Okay. There we go, right. So that is now off. Okay, so normally the way that I do this, is turn this over and then the screen will just tilt and pivot up and we can do everything we can do all the work without having to detach any of the cables let's now zoom in and have a look at the device itself so as we can see here we've got the main board we've got our fan connected here this is our memory so we've got one stick one eight gig stick of ram in here our speakers down here is our on off switch and our card reader with a ribbon cable going back here and then we've got our DVD CD ROM and then we've got our drive here then up at the top we've got our two microphone inputs and um, our webcam is actually on the back of the uh, on the back of the screen at the top here so if you look here uh, our webcam is here with our cable running down so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to remove the drive and we're going to replace it with um, we're going to replace it with an SSD and we're going to clone the contents onto it. So, first thing we want to do is take out the drive cage and again, make sure you keep your screws. Just going to disconnect before we take the last screw out. I'm going to disconnect the SATA cable. There we go. And it looks like just the one screw so we're going to slide that out tilt it up and extract that and here we've got our looks like it's a one terabyte drive so we can go ahead and remove this and there we go we can remove that drive slide that out making a note of where that goes in. And here's the uh, SSD we're going to be changing it out for. It's a two and a half inch, 480 gig one. And then we've got one of these, uh, a case uh, drive cages that we're going to be using. It's a converter, it's a drive converter, converts two and a half inch to three and a half inch. So this is the first one we've uh, looked at of one of these. Well, first one we've used nice little brown envelope with all the screws in and paper tissue to protect it and there we go a little instruction book and then this will just be able to slot in there and then screw back in so let's now get our drive installed 
And there we go. So that is the drive mounted in there. It goes in this way. So when it goes in the device itself, it's sitting like that. There's plenty of airflow around it. Okay, and there we go. So that's our drive cage mounted inside the drive cage. And then we're going to get our connector reattached like that and we're going to slide that under there and fit that in like that and that's it all connected right now i'm fairly confident that this is going to work so um, the next thing is we need to get our screen put back on but we will get our screen back in now and you want to make sure that uh, the top goes in and you don't crimp or ruin any of the cables and then just press all around the unit to re-clip it in goes back much easier than it does when it comes apart, I can tell you. <laughs> and then we're gonna take our screw that was in the bottom. That goes back in. Mounts back in. Okay. And then we'll take our stand. The stand only goes in one way. Okay, and that is the unit all put back together. The next thing we're gonna do is just give the screen a first clean Okay, it's a little bit better than it was. And then we're gonna get this device connected and we're gonna clone the hard drive onto the SSD that's installed. Okay, so here we are in Macrium Reflect. This is version eight, it's paid for software and I've created a USB drive for this. What I've also done is I've connected it to the network. As you can see down here in the right hand corner, this is now connected and I've mapped a drive um, to our NAS drive. So we're going to create uh, a drive image and then we're going to um, restore that drive image to the um, one terabyte drive that we're going to be installing in here. Now, as you can see, they are pretty full on disk space. So um, we're going to be recommending that they have a good clear out here because they're going to run out of space shortly. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and select image this disk. And as you can see there, all the partitions are selected. And then we're going to select a folder and we're going to mount this. We're going to go into our drive in here and we're going to create a new folder called um, HP image customer and that's going to create a folder and it's going to dump everything in there so we're going to say next we're going to say create the folder and then it's simply enough we just click on finish and then we wait for this to um, create our image of the drive across the network onto our NAS drive and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to then restore this back onto our um, SSD drive that we're going to install in here. So what we've had to do, you sh I showed you previously how we inserted the SSD drive. Because um, this system is not seeing any USB uh, drives, we've had to take that SSD drive back out. We've re-added the hard disk and we're now cloning the hard disk across the network onto our NAS drive and then we will take the hard disk out, put the SSD drive back in and then restore that image onto the uh, one terabyte drive that we're going to be installing. So we'll let this run and once it's completed we will then come back and swap everything over.
Okay, so that's the clone completed. So all we need to do now is we're gonna click on close and then we're gonna shut down the system. And then we're gonna add our drive into it. Open that back up. We're gonna disconnect our drive that we just slotted in here as a temporary measure. And then we're gonna take our crucial one terabyte drive. That's gonna go back in under here. First, we need to add the connector like that. And then we're gonna secure the drive cage. Okay, so that is now all back in. So now we need to just refitted here there we go okay so we need to get this connected back up to the network and then restore the data okay so we're going to boot from our macrium reflect drive okay and i can see that it's connected to the network and now what we're going to do is we need to map a drive click on here and that maps the drive as you can see there. So let's close that down now. Now we want to go to our existing backups and we want to browse. First we want to see if we can see our drive, which we can. So we want to click on browse for an image file. And we save this under HP image customer. We're going to load the image. And then we're going to click on restore. We're going to select our drive one terabyte drive that's in here and then we're going to click on next and then finish and what that's going to do is that's going to load the image that we saved to our NAS drive onto the SSD drive that's now installed and then hopefully we should be able to boot from it afterwards all right so the clone has now completed as you see it took 15 minutes which I think is very fast um, so let's say okay to that we want to close that and then we want to close macrium reflect so shut all this down so here we are in the system it's all booted up so this is now ready to do a final cleanup and then we'll return this to our client and then they can go through and empty out some of their storage space that they've got so as you can see from that video, things never quite go according to plan. So um, what we thought was be a straightforward drive clone actually turned into a bit of a saga. Um, so we had to do a image, drive image, and then restore the image um, to get around this because uh, the system just wouldn't see the, uh, the SSD drive when it was connected. But that just goes to show all the little niggles that we come across um, when we're doing these sort of repairs. Uh, if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.